Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Today, the 29th of October, 2023, the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time of the Church's Calendar. Our first reading today is taken from the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 21 to 27. Our second reading is taken from the letter of, first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians, chapter 1, verse 5 to 10. The Gospel reading is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 22, verse 34 to 40. Our reflection this morning, the whole law is summarized in love. The whole law is summarized in love. The Christian catechism is not difficult. It can all be learned in one lesson. If we obey the commandments of love, we fulfill the whole law. The rest is just a more comment and explanation. In today's Gospel, the Pharisees and the Sadducees formed an alien with a question on the greatest of the commandments in the law to set a trap for Jesus. For the Pharisees, there are 613 different commandments. 248 of them are positive. You shall commandments. And 365 are negative. You shall not commandments. For the Pharisees, it is a common belief that salvation is dependent on the fulfillment of the whole 613 commandments. But how could one even remember them not to talk about fulfilling them? As a result, some moderate rabbis and Sadducees felt that some distinctions are to be made between grave and less grave sins. The trap in this question for Jesus was that by making distinction, he would diminish the importance of some of the laws, thereby creating problems for himself. Jesus escaped their trap brilliantly with not just one but two commandments from the Torah, books of Moses. The first popularly known as the Shema, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Confer Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. And the second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Confer Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18. Jesus there by picking two that are clearly all inclusive of the others. He gave no reason for offense to the Pharisees. By making a distinction, he offers no offense to the Sadducees, who felt a hierarchy was necessary. Jesus clearly shows his genius, as no one before him had ever been able to do by cutting through the multitude of laws that made life difficult for the ordinary people and exposing the core on which all law depends. For if we truly love God above all things, we will do nothing willingly to hurt or offend Him. And so we keep all the laws directed towards God. And if we truly love our neighbor, made in the image and likeness of God, we will do nothing willingly to offend them. Hence Jesus concluded saying, On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Confer the Gospel of St. Matthew, chapter 22, verse 40. Our responsorial psalm this morning is also in line with these commandments. I love you, Lord, my strength. The law of love is taken to a higher level by our Lord. The average Jew sees his or her neighbor as his or her countryman or woman. 
For Jesus, the neighbor is any human person created in the image and likeness of God. Hence, our love should embrace all, especially in resembling God, who is holy and caring. He is loving and compassionate, rich in mercy. He is the father of all, especially the downtrodden and less privileged. He tells the people of Israel in the first reading to show love to the less fortunate brothers and sisters, strangers, orphans, and widows. St. Paul in the second reading reminds the people of Thessalonica to purify their love. We too are called to purify our love by first imitating our Lord who loves us unconditionally. The evidence of this love must be seen in our relationship with our fellow creatures. Jesus asks us at the Last Supper to love one another as he had loved us. The love of God and neighbor is inseparable. They are immediately connected. That is why they are the first and the second greatest commandments of the law. The love of God and neighbor gives a new shocking slant to the traditional interpretation held by the Jews. He pulls the love of God and neighbor on equal footing. The Apostle John saw it that way since he wrote, Those who say I love God and hate their brothers or sisters are liars. For those who do not love a brother or sister whom they see cannot love God whom they have not seen. Confer the Gospel of 1 John chapter 4. Verse 20. The love of Jesus teaches is an all inclusive love, a love that is committed to the good of others. The others can be anybody. This kind of love does not come naturally or easily. That is why we must will it. It is a conscious act done in the name and for God's sake. May Jesus continue to be Jesus for us through Christ our Lord. I remain your brother, Reverend Father Desmond Chigoze Oza from DCTV.